the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name's Nagato, and for today's tutorial, I'm basically going to teach y'all guys on how to install PlayStation 4 Explorer Beta. And this version that we are testing out today, it literally uh, released about like an hour ago for me. Uh, we're this version right here is 1.10. Most of y'all guys may be asking what is PlayStation 4 Explorer Beta, or basically what it is. It's a file manager for your PlayStation 4. So it's kind of essentially like um, Multi-Man or the other program. I forgot the name. I think it's called Orbis Man and File Manager for PlayStation 4. I think Lightning Mods made this. Uh, the developer who made this uh, application is Lappy. And today I'm basically gonna be going through some of the new versions or the new features in this version. So with that being stated, um, I will have a link in or in the description below, I'll have a download for this uh, program right here. You'll also need a uh, WinRAR for this to extract this. Of course, you need a modded PlayStation 4, whether from firmware is 1.76, 4.05, 4.55, or 5.05. In this case, I'm using my PlayStation 4 Pro that's on 5.05. And you also need a USB stick, whether it's formatted to FAT32 or XFAT. Once you have all those uh, thing, those prerequisites I stated, then you could, you know, get along with the video. So first things first, go ahead and extract your um, package here from the uh, WinRAR zip. And then you basically have two files, the PKG itself, and then also the, um, the change log for it. So as you stay here, or see here, it talks about all of, like, the, um, new features that have been added for 1.10 which we focus on today it supports lower firmware so 5.05 4.55 4.75 and 5.01 firmware uh, it supports read info from param.sfos and pkg files so now you can like learn or the content id and other like digest information from the pkgs and i'll explain more about that once i get to the ps4 the support of dds images they're essentially like pngs or regular images in file games so you'll get to see like you know for example if i were to boot up in a file man or yeah file playstation 4 explorer final fantasy 15 you'll see like the cover art for it like on the main application and stuff like that basically like the pick one png uh the like the app meta stuff essentially also you all in the description too oh from downloading this you'll get to see you know more about the change log but with that being said after explaining all that stuff what you want to do now is go ahead and connect your usb to your pc which i have in this case let me go to my USB and now what you want to do make sure your USB let me make this big screen for a second make sure your USB is formatted to either XFAT or FAT32 and the way if your thing is on NTFS the way how to change it is is by right clicking on your USB drive going to format and then going into file system and then from there whether if it's, uh, if it's on NTFS, go ahead and either switch it to FAT32 or XFAT. I always recommend users that are messing with the PlayStation 4 and anytime you're installing uh, package files or any large files, go ahead and switch it to XFAT since like uh, PlayStation 4 updates and also PlayStation 4 games are way over uh, 4 gigabytes. So anything, basically if you're on FAT32 and you have a file that's over 4 gigabytes, it basically won't transfer to your USB. Also, it's a good idea, any files you have on your USB before this procedure, go ahead and back it up to either your PC or another USB drive since when you do a quick format by clicking this button here and then hitting start, essentially what does, does that or what it does is reset your file system to you know XFAT or FAT32 and it wipes your drive clean so you lose all your files. In this case, I'm not doing that. All you will literally have to do is go ahead and drag and drop the PKG. And then from here, I'm going to teach you guys on how to install this package file just using debug settings like you would do any package file. And then I'll get more in depth from the um, PS4. So I'll meet y'all guys there. Okay guys, so once you're back on your PlayStation 4, 
basically go ahead into your web browser like always and then in the URL I basically have the link where you need to go to so in this case go to HTTP semicolon slash slash PlayStation dev dot wiki slash X slash index dot HTML once you do that go ahead and hit L1 to basically run hen the reason why we need to run hen is basically to get debug settings so we can run this package file I already did that so I'm gonna skip that step as you can tell here I already have the program open but essentially what you want to do now go ahead and debug settings game make sure of course your usb is in your ps4 so the package or basically the usb could read from your ps4 to see what package you have installed go ahead and since i already have this had to um copy over real quick since i already have that program booted up just go ahead and copy it over if you already installed it or not probably you don't since i'm telling you guys on how to install it but with that being said once it installs what you wanted to do now is just go ahead and open the app go ahead and hit uh, update later because you don't want to update and then you should get this uh, screen that says PlayStation 4 Explore Beta and then now you should get another screen and basically it has a little disclaimer at the bottom so to see the screen again go to settings application save data and delete this um, basically you could just choose whatever firmware you're on so if you're on 4.55 choose that one if you're on 5.05 .05, which i'm in on this case that's what i'm clicking and then go ahead and select your language i'm going to do english and then now you basically um if you want to learn about more of the options and instructions for this program there's a little if you hit the options button it tells you how to you know uh how to scroll down so l2 is super speed up and down on the d-pad is basically how you toggle usb 0 and usb 1 basically usb 0 is the usb is in the front and the or both front on your playstation 4 if you have a ps4 pro like me you may have like usb 2 i'm assuming that's what that function is and then file options and also stop player i think that's for music and then execute and other stuff like that but what we're going to get focused on today is some stuff dealing with uh, you know the actual new features so if I go to let me see real quick I think it's in user app if I go in the user app and I choose this one right here and hover over app.pkg as you could tell um, with this new function now it shows you know basically more information about the app so you see the game that's hovering over uh, see you see the title ID in the left hand corner like CUSA 0007 that's basically NBA 2k10 as you see here on the screen you get to see you know the title ID the actual title name what version it has what pub tool info like the parental level um, if it's a fake package or not the download size and also like the main content ID and what version I'm on currently and then you get to look at the JSON file and also the app.xml you can also if i really wanted to go ahead and copy it over i could just copy it and then put it on my usb this usb drive currently doesn't have um what you might call it uh enough space to you know copy over 39 gigabytes but that's one of the features for this uh program let me go ahead and pull up the log on my pc to explain more about it so if I could find a param or a .sfo file within it, oh yeah, well, essentially for here, like this one, uh, it's Netflix and it's a fake package file. Also within here, it does read some of like, you know, more details of like the param.sfo, system version, pub tools, such and so forth. So those are just some cool features with this uh, plugin right now. And also I'm trying to find if I get the app meta, if you go into user slash app meta, meta, excuse me, you can see games icons. So the dot DDS files I was talking about. So this one was YouTube, for example, I'm trying to find it, a real game, for example. So this is Axiom Verge and you get to see all the icon PNGs and pick one PNGs. You get to see the save data uh, photo and stuff like that. So that's a pretty cool feature. So, for example, if you wanted to, you know, figure out which game, you know, just buy from the picture, that's one cool feature in itself. Because I know I do that sometimes. I'm trying to see if I recognize any. Yeah, so CUSA05786, that's Kingdom Hearts. And 
as you see here if you wanted to for example pull this picture out or something you could just go ahead and copy and then if you want to go ahead and put it on your USB as you see here I could paste this or excuse me let me go ahead and paste it and now what it will do is go ahead and paste the actual file over to your thing so that's basically you know a cool thing for this uh, whole program if y'all guys have any questions on how to install this or you want more content like this please feel free to ask with that being said my name is Nagato and I'm signing out thank you guys